Some of you may want to know this, so in order to screenshot on this new specific software, you have a couple different options. First of all, you can always go ahead and hold the side button and the volume up button if you have an iPhone that supports the notch. So if you have an iPhone that has a notch like Face ID, then you want to go ahead and use that method. If you have an iPhone like an iPhone 7 right here, what you want to do is you want to hold the power button and the home button at the same time, and that will go ahead and do a screenshot for you. So there's two different ways to do it, the same way from iOS 14, 13, 12, it's the same exact way. But like I mentioned, you do have the back tab capability that if you want to go ahead and screenshot, you have that capability too, but that's a little bit more complex, a little bit, a little bit more than this beginner's guide.